Dear God, uh, forgive me! Confess your sins! Forgive me, for I have sinned. I had abandoned you. Uh, I had abandoned you, and for it, you have uh, punished me by losing my baby, my family! Not good enough, inmate Nikolai. You are not telling the whole truth. You want salvation from the stake. Tell me where the Book of Sekvra is, and I'll grant you absolution. To each, I give a final chance. Witchcraft and devil worship are your sins. Confess. Where is the book? Human flesh and blood is what you crave. Do you want absolution? Denial of the divine Catholic faith has you tied to that stake. Say it. Confess. Or be burned alive. Your heart is as black as your craft, Necromancer. Speak up, or die in eternal flame. You have all chosen the devil. So be it. Death is only the beginning of your torment. Remember the name! Maleus Maleficarum! You heard about me. I am Ulrich de Inani, prosecutor of the Valet Tribunal. No? You've never heard of Maleus Maleficarum? Look me in the eyes, witch. Your disciples are no more. I've cast them into ash and dirt. Indeed, your kin. <laughs> what a day. I made God proud of me. Where's the manuscript? <laughs> the Sekvra book. Never will I tell you. Then you choose the same fate as your kin. Where is it? Copies have already been found. What makes you think we won't find the original? Save us the effort and avoid a painful death. <laughs> Tell me where to find more of your kind. Everywhere. We raised entire towns, whole villages, lonely houses on hilltops, and when we thought there were no more, we found yet another cult. And another one. And another one. You spread like rats. There must be a hole from which the Mazrak slither from. I need to know. Kim is here. Kim is everywhere. Kazak is everywhere. Coming down here in your filthy cell. <laughs> I didn't expect anything. No sane person would tell me the answers I seek. But I had to see you helpless. Chained like the low life you are. Any time now, you'll be taken upstairs by the guards. Your soul, body, and religion will be obliterated for eternity.
may God be merciless upon you. Curse you, Ulrich, and your bloodline for eternity! Benedict, wake up. We need to hurry up. Come on, not again. I have to get him off that cross. Time for another push. This time with some real force. You are not yet to be crucified. Ulrich, <laughs> Jadwiga. <laughs> Nightmares? Again? I was Ulrich, the man whose portrait I saw in the courtroom of the castle. I torched heretics and was cursed by a witch in chains. It was horrible because... It was horrible because I know there's some truth to the curse. Father made sure I would remember it. Where am I? Consider yourself blessed. You fainted after the first whip on that boat. Now that you mention it, uh, I'm starting to feel the lacerations. Hold tight. I have to untie you. Nikolai, what are you waiting for? Quiet. He'll hear us. Now go on, get up. We have to hurry. Where are we? Looks like a mass graveyard to me. Wait a minute. I have nothing in my pocket. My Bible. Everything. Yes. They took everything we had on us. We have to get my Bible back, Nikolai. And we will. Calm down. Let's concentrate now on finding that priest. If I remember correctly, the graveyard should be directly below the section marked with the X. Indeed. We have to get up there. How? I'm not sure yet. We have to look around and try to find a way. Careful how you move. I don't know where the Watchman is. After leaving us on the cross, he receded into the dark. Let's hurry up then. Hmm. If nothing is blocking the mechanism above, I might be able to pull the chain, and by doing so, the other side would climb up. I just need to find a way to pull it down first. It's out of reach at the moment. Badly disfigured bodies. Young, old, the elderly. It doesn't matter to the asylum. There it is. Seems like a long enough leg bone that it should allow me to reach the chain. It worked. Oh, good. The mechanism isn't blocked from above. Now all you have to do... Sit inside the plate. You sit in there. It's full of blood and flesh. I'll climb up using the chain. We have no time for this, Benedict. Hop in. I'll pull you up. You're too weak for anything else. It's all because of my back. Whenever you're ready.
Once inside, find a mechanism or anything that could take me up with the same thing. Now wait, I'll find a way to lift the plate up. I think. Hey, little man. <laughs> Want me to get that friend of yours up here? I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> I wouldn't advise it. He's not my friend, but I need him here. So, sure, yes. But uh, how would you do it? <laughs> they don't know about my little secret. <laughs> I'm Marco. Wait here. How did you do it? I did it! I did it! New inmates, the two of you? I hope not. How did you pull the chain up? My little secret. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Promise? We promise. I made a hole in the wall. I dug and I dug until breaking through to the warden's room. Inside his cabinet. Now I can do everything. Open doors, close doors, pull chain, go out, go back. So why don't you escape then? No. I gotta make a new hole in the floor and only then escape. God rewards only persistence and hard work. I hate people who don't work. I hate them. Can you open the warden's room from there? I want to take a look. No key. Not possible. You need the key to open the door. I can't do it. Can we go through the hole in your cell? Can you let us in? Little man, my cell is my cell. You ever talk to the gravekeeper? Never even saw him. He's always down in the hole. My people say he was killed, but I don't know. I don't know. Your people? Cellmates. Only two come to visit us. The caped man and the food man. The caped man? He inflicts the pain. Cruel, evil, strong. I hate him. When the time comes, he is the last one you'll see in life. Not me. <laughs> I will get out of here. Go see my Boyana, and then I can die. She will be the last one I see. Food man brings you food, I guess. Uh, yummy! Delicious food from the hole. This is insane. You eat or die. You can't choose. Time passes, and you get used to it. Do you know who Yakov Prenger is? How could I not? Former priest, yes. Have you ever seen him in the asylum? Mm, only caped man and food man. No one else. Not even my cellmates. In what part of the asylum are we now? Secret section. Only very special inmates are held here. I'm very special, I think. So there are two more special inmates here? The one next to me died yesterday. No, it was today. Was it today? Hours before, I think. When a caped man was in there, the man couldn't stop saying his name. I believe it was... Gregor, was it? Yes, Gregor. Caped man shut his mouth. No sound came out of his cell afterwards. Thank God. There is a man behind the last door, but I don't know. He may be dead. Caped man didn't go in. You said you can open doors. Could you open the door of the cell the caped man visited last? Wait here. The watchman took your stuff from you, didn't he? He did? Good, good. Wait. Take your stuff back, little men.
hope you really appreciate this. You gave me my Bible back. God bless you. I'm not sure it's everything, but it's something. Just go, just go now. There's a man on the floor. Get inside. We are too late. This man is dead. He has no intestines. Because of the rats who ate them while being trapped under that bucket. Let's leave him... How did you get out of the basement? What? You finally found a way out. I... I think I recognize you. Is... Is that really... Oh my god, it is you. I've hoped so much to find you here with all my heart, but wouldn't dare believe. This is your father? Your real father, Yosef? You left your sister alone down there. That... Which could find her. What? Where? Where is Victoria? Easy, father. Calm down now. The... Your mother. The Bible. What I did. It's all my fault. I kept you locked in that basement for too long. I'm so sorry, son. Don't think about anything. Try to calm down now. He's losing it. I... kept you. Please. Water. Water. Quickly, try to find some water. I'll stay here with him. I'll try. You do your best to make him talk before it's too late. You hear me? It's the bucket the torturer used to keep the rats on Yosef's abdomen. Hygiene is not a priority at the moment. Just the water. I'm taking it. Consider yourself blessed this time. Stop doing that. I've warned you. Little man's friend, what can I do for you? Do you have some water in the cell? I drank all I had. Why? Death wish from your cellmate. So, he's still alive. Unexpected. Remarkable. Water is given only once a week. It's hard to stay alive without it. It's hard. I had to create an automated circle of renewal. That is, whenever I take a leak, I do not use the hole for feces, no. I do it in a small bowl that I hide inside the hole. They must not find it, or else I'm dead. I want to help the poor man with his death wish. Take my urine. I doubt that dying man will notice the difference anyway. Pour the urine in my bucket. Excellent choice. Prepare the bucket for the transfer. I'll get the bowl. God bless that man for a peaceful rest. Thank you for doing this.
I've managed to get him something to drink. No. Father doesn't need it anymore. I'm sorry. Have you asked him a- True faith is having faith in others, Benedict. All I ever did, I did for the family, Benedict. Listen to me. Did he tell you anything about Victoria? Look closely enough and you will find God in people, Benedict. How did he end up in the asylum? Have faith in people and you will find God, Benedict. Have you asked him about that priest, Yakov? No. He could be in some other cell, still alive. He's not. For God's sake, would you snap out of this self-pitying state and start answering my questions? You'll have us both killed. Listen to me. Seeing God in people, what did he mean by that? Did he tell you anything meaningful? Anything at all? Father said a lot of things, but they all sound like nonsense. Mumblings of a dying man in agony. Anything about Victoria? About Yakov? We must find that man. Yakov lies dead in front of us, Nikolai. Yakov was my father. He changed his name after arriving in this town. Your father was Yakov Pranger? He lied about having been sent by the Vatican. I... I need time to absorb and process all the things he said. Help me with his body. I, I can't leave it here. He will be eaten by rats or, or tossed in the piles below. I can't leave him. It's impossible. You know that. But... You must leave him here, Benedict. I finally found him, only to lose him again? This time forever? Say a prayer, and then let's get out of here as quickly as possible before someone arrives. I'll follow you. Rest in peace, Father. Ready to go? I am. I saw the key, yes, <laughs> but I didn't know it was his. Just don't get caught, little man. The warden's room. There's a lot of information in these documents. They appear to be some sort of official medical archive or something. Josip was brought to us this morning. He was a devoted Catholic. Never heard a fly, never yelled at anyone. Perfect for our cause. Almost perfect. I laid him on the ground, tying him up in the process, and ripped out his tongue and vocal cords. As such, he was ready to be transported. The couple who took him were nice. We chanted together, sacrificed the man, and split between us his remains. He is now a slave of Kasag in the kingdom of Ahrizat. He is now perfect. A nameless woman came in. She was too young and too healthy to be sacrificed. Pray as this is rare and precious. In the upcoming decades, she will be put to good use. Fresh meat and blood will be coming out of her womb, replenishing our needs and strengthening the moon. An elderly man and woman. They were too old to be transported back to land. I took care of them. I was surprised by how much pain they could endure. Dissecting them alive was a pleasure, as I learned more about these people. Their veins had diluted blood, and their brains were mushy. Was it because they were Catholic, or due to old age? Before I could break their spirits, their hearts stopped. I tried attaching their bowels together as one. I was curious if this would work. 
Their agony is like music to our ears. The Watchmen then took them away. It was time well spent. For the love of God, no. I've had enough of these monstrosities. Can you move us down now? God bless that man for a peaceful rest. He has suffered for far too long. Far too long. He surely did. Maybe I should take his body after all. I can't leave it here. You can't. You can't do that, little man. You would get caught, and then you would share his same fate. You must leave. Once you hear the chain, jump onto the plate. I'll open the cage of the lake, too. Just beware of the Watchman. He's always lurking. What about you? Are you sure you don't want to come with us? I want to use my own hole, not the one everyone else uses. My hole is my hole. Good luck, Marco. God bless you. And I've almost forgot the bucket with your drink. I'm leaving it here on the wall. Thank you! I... I don't think I can leave his body in this place. No, brother. We must leave. And you must let him go. Yosef died years ago. This person is not your father. I wouldn't be standing here if that was the truth, but... But now I understand why he chose this town. Why he chose to leave his family. You're right. It's my time to leave him. Come. I know where we must go. Tell me what happened in that cell. Did he say anything that made sense? I don't know. He was losing himself. Blamed me for- Benedict, we left the island and I kept quiet. It's not much, but I gave you the time to grieve and think. Your father is dead. Gone. Thinking about him and pitying yourself now will only send your sister his way. We have to act. What did he say to you? I was trying to say he was blabbering, but some things made sense to me in a strange kind of way. What do you mean? Father insisted that he must do the things he already did. More specifically? Pass the family's Bible to his next of kin, the last male child of the Dohnani family, me. Then he said he needs to go to Svetikotar to save his bloodline from the curse of Yadviga Mazrak. <sighs> Nonsense. Did he say anything about Victoria? It's... it's all so strange and frightening. I dreamed... Yadviga was in my dream, and I was Ulrich de Inani. Who's Ulrich? Our ancestor. All right. You should let him stay dead and focus on the present and Victoria. Josef kept mentioning the basement, about how did I manage to get out, and why did I leave Victoria there. He blamed me for leaving her alone. What basement? We spent all of our youth in the cold part of our house. In those dark times, we laughed together. We cried together. And we got beaten together. It's how we found God. Would you leave the past behind already? And forget about God for a moment. Wake up! We need to find her! The past could be the key to find Victoria. How? I'm not sure yet. Before leaving the island, you said you knew where to go. Nothing you say now has meaning. We hit a dead end. We went onto that island, and I was whipped, tortured, and had to confess. For what? That is not the truth. Listen. We have to find that basement he kept mentioning. You mean go back to your childhood home in Gior? Not exactly. If we find that basement, we might be able to save Victoria and put an end to my bloodline's curse. So, you swallowed everything that came out of your father's mouth. There were times I've asked myself if the curse was just a sham to keep us obedient. But the curse exists. 
I'm now more certain than ever before. Are you sure because of the dream you had? Or because your father told you so? Both are absurd notions. Because of everything we've been through since arriving in Svetikotar. It all makes sense now. How, exactly? Explain it to me. Push away this cloud of mist around my thoughts. I need help to do that. We have to go back to where it all started yesterday. Back to that damned house. Why would you want to do that? Not the house. We have to visit the neighbor, the old woman, Veda Karzam. Why? Father kept repeating that she's my mother. He left his family, but he didn't forget my mother's name. I quote, Your mother Vera. She's an angel. Only she can save your sister from the basement. Mother can help you save her and put an end to our bloodline's curse. Kill the witch, destroy Sekvra. <laughs> so this was your plan. Do you have any better leads? Ideas? Anything? If that is the truth, and that elderly woman... Wait, you think she's keeping Victoria in her basement? You think she's the witch? I doubt it. I didn't sense anything evil in that woman. But the way my father... It actually makes sense. She might be the source of evil, not Nerman. Right under our noses the whole time. We searched for Victoria all over this accursed valley. Only to find her where it all started? I don't think we'll find her. I think my father gave us something, but don't expect a miracle. Victoria is no longer. Let's go straight to the old woman. <laughs> 